and welcome to Wednesday mornings baking with Donna. This morning we are going to make some cupcakes. Each week we're going to make something different and at the end of each video I shall tell you what ingredients you are going to need. Okay? Some of you have already received some ingredients and these certain children are my star bakers. Okay? And I know that you're all going to do your best and you're all going to enjoy it. Okay, so let's let's start, shall we? Shall we just get on? So I'm going to tell you what we're going to need um, and then we'll get on and do some baking. So this week we're going to need some flour, some caster sugar, some baking powder and vanilla extract, two eggs, some butter, and then we're going to need a whisk or if you've got an electric whisk and you want to use that then that's absolutely fine whichever you, you whichever you feel comfortable with some tablespoons and a teaspoon some weighing scales a baking ball some cupcake cases and a cupcake tin okay and then we're also going to need our recipes. So in your packs, you'll all have a recipe. You find the one for cupcakes, and that's the one we're going to follow today. Okay. So let's begin. Pardon? What was that? Oh yeah. I forgot to wash my hands. Come on, let's go wash our hands. Thanks, guys. I forgot. My head's like this sometimes. Right, so we're going to take our soap, a couple of squirts, and we're going to start washing our hands, okay? So in between the fingers, if you want to sing happy birthday twice, like Boris told you, then you're more than welcome. Or you can just chat along and hum along and make sure that all your nuts and crannies are all nice and clean. Okay, make sure to get them thumbs. Yeah, in the insides of your fingers. Don't want any muck between them nails, do we? Won't taste very nice now, cupcakes. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And we miss you. We can't wait to have you back to school so we can do lots of fun activities together and see each other all the time. That would be great. You can tell us all your stories that you've done in lockdown and how you watched all those crazy teachers on, the, on YouTube doing silly things. Right, guys, I think that's about it. They all look clean. Yep, smell clean as well. Right, here we go. Oh, bit hot that. Make sure it's not too hot for you. Don't want any burns. Right, let's get my towel now. So let's move back over and we'll dry our hands. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Right, let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my baking tray and I'm just going to put some cupcake cases into it. I think we'll probably use about eight, but it all depends on how much mixture you put into the into the cake cases. You might get more, you might get a few less, but we're only using a four ounce mixture. So we can put that to one side for later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our ovens onto gas mark four, which is about 180 degrees. Okay, I've already got mine on, but please make sure that you ask an adult to help you with that because I don't want anybody burning themselves. Okay, fab. We all sorted. Great. So the first thing we're going to do in a large bowl, we are going to weigh our caster sugar, and we're going to weigh 125 grams. Okay. There we go. So I've got my sugar. So have a little feel of it if you want. Ooh, looks like it's snowing on me, doesn't it? Hey? Oh yeah, it's like it's like Christmas again. <laughs> right, so into the bowl that goes. Sprinkle it all on my hands, give them a little rub. Okay. Right. Then the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is to use our butter. Okay, and we're going to put the same amount of butter in, so 125 grams. Okay, so just with our fingers, we're going to rub it off onto there. Or 
if you much prefer, we can use a spoon and scrape it off. Okay, whatever you feel comfortable with, but as long as your hands are clean, then that's fine. Okay, so we'll use, use our spoon and we'll pop it onto there. Perfect, so I've got 125 grams of butter as well into there. And if you want, before you have a little mix, you can always have a little play with the butter. It's, it's a bit squidgy and slimy and greasy. We can even put it on our nose if we want, you know. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, makes my skin feel all nice and soft. Right. What do you think I should do with these now? Wash them? Great idea. Let's go back and wash. Sorry we're up and down guys, I have to keep carrying the iPad with me. So a bit more soap. I'm going to leave this on my face for later. Might end up with a bit of flour on there as well. Might look like a little angel by the time I'm finished. Right, let's go back. So we're going to whisk our butter and sugar together until it's nice and creamy. Okay. And you can't see any of the sugar. Okay. And it will look a bit like that. Can you all see it, guys? It'll all be stuck into there, but don't worry about it. All right. Excellent. Okay. So next, we're going to add one egg at a time. Okay. So make sure we get no shell in it. And that's one. And then we should just pop that into the bin. Okay, so we have one egg in, and we're going to give that a stir. Mix it into the butter. Make sure we get those arms working. Okay, so it becomes a little bit more runnier now, okay? And then we're going to put the other egg in. So again, watching for no shells. Oh, Donna's got a shell in. So we're just going to use our shell and scoop it out. I know a lot of you will know how to do that with baking with Claire in the cafe. So we've got another egg in. And I hope a lot of you bake. Do a lot of, and many of you bake at home with mums and dads as well. Yeah, I hope you help out in the kitchen and make some nice things. Right, there we go, guys. So now it's a bit more runnier. Can you see? Okay. Right, so next we are going to fold in the flour. So we're going to 125 grams again. Okay. And this is a bit like the sugar. It's a little bit less gritty, a bit more smoother. But we can always have a little, a little feel as long as our hands are clean. Yeah. You can sprinkle it in if you want. <clears throat> or we can just tip it in, watch it all flow. Yeah, make sure all that's in. <clears throat> okay, and then while we've got the flour in, <clears throat> we're going to use our baking powder. So we just want one level teaspoon, and in it goes. And then the same with our vanilla extract. Yeah, so one level teaspoon, and in it goes. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to mix all that together as well. <clears throat> Make sure we don't see any flour around the bowl. Okay. Right guys, so there is my mixture. Okay. You can have a little feel of it as well. Let's have to take a bit off and have a little... Oh, it's just a bit, it's, a quite, it's quite like the butter, but a little bit smoother because it's got all the other ingredients in. All right, okay. Right, I won't take you with me, but I'll just quickly go wash my hands again. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Ta da I'm back. Right, now it's time to get these cakes in the oven. So we're going to get our cake case and just 
take the excess of our whisk and then we're going to use our tablespoon and we're just going to put about a tablespoon of mixture okay and we're just going to put it into each of the cake cases okay so again if you just want to use your spoon just to take it off that's great okay and then we're just going to fill all those like i say put us at least a tablespoon in if you want to add a little bit more if you want to make more cakes that's fine right. <clears throat> Right, nearly done, guys. <clears throat> right, so I've got all my cake cases full. Okay, so there we go. I'm a mixture into my cake cases. So now I'm going to pop this into the oven. Sorry, I'm just washing my hands because I touched my face, and we shouldn't do that, should we, while we're baking. So I'm just going to pop these into the oven, gas mark M4, for about, about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. But after about 20, if we just check them, get mums and dads to check them with you because the tray will be hot. So please don't take them out on your own, okay? So into the oven they go. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to pop them into my oven, just like that. And then, as if by magic, voila! Here are some I made earlier. Okay. So when they come out, oh, they stand up. When they come out, they're going to be nice and golden brown. Okay. And if we put them onto a tray and let them cool, once we've finished, once they cool, sorry, um, you'll be able to decorate them. All right. So in your packs, I've put you some um, chocolate in. You could maybe melt some chocolate to put on. Or if you want to mix some icing sugar with water, mix that. If you have any colours, you could colour it. Put that on. Um, if you want to make any buttercream, you just have to um, whisk some butter and some icing sugar together till creamy. Um, and then put that on. So you could do... Um, you could make some butterfly cakes by cutting out the middle, putting a bit of jam and cream in and putting the top back on. Or you can just cover them with chocolate, with icing sugar. I've given you some sprinkles and marshmallows. You could even cut the marshmallows into half and make a little flower with some sprinkles in the middle. It's all up to you, okay? Um, but I would like to see all your finished products. So once they're all cool and they're all decorated, I'd like you to get your mums or dads Grannies or granddads to take a picture um, and upload it to our our um, school site, or I, I do you do have my email if you'd like to, if you want to email me them, and then when I have a look at them, I'm sure there'll be a prize for some people, okay? If not everybody, because I know you're all going to be amazing. All right, so that's Donna's baking today. I hope you've had fun and enjoyed it. <clears throat> um, and just a quick reminder for next week. So next week, for all those who would like to join, we are going to make some bread, okay? And all you will need is flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, and some water, okay? So that's all we're going to need, and a, and a, and a, loaf, a loaf tin. But we can, we can find something else to put it in if you don't have one of those. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope all your cakes are going to turn out lovely, which I'm sure they are. And I'd like to see all your finished products. Okay. And I shall see you again next week. So take care. Have fun. Bye.